Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, my name is Bharat and I'm a senior database engineer working for Salesforce right now. And usually I post like Python tutorials in my YouTube channel. I just uh, thought for a change, I will switch to like a vlog format. And this is not gonna be like a technical video. It's more like a career advice. This, is, this video is mainly for uh, Oracle DBAs. If you are an Oracle DBA, you might find this useful. Uh, okay, or you might know all, all of this already and maybe one person will walk away with uh, this useful information. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So it's basically my perspective on Oracle DBA job market. So let's say like, uh, you know, if you're an Oracle DBA and you're thinking, oh my God, all the companies are moving to cloud and they're moving out of Oracle. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna be out of job? What should I learn? So those are the things that I'm gonna address. Uh, first of all, actually, I don't want you to worry about losing your job because, uh, and I, I think like this, uh, emergence of cloud technologies and cloud companies uh, like AWS and Azure, GCP and all these companies, they have um, opened up a lot of opportunities for, for Oracle DBS like us. So, you know, you don't have to worry. So just think about like what, you know, what, what can you become actually? So in the future, actually, if uh, you know if you're looking for a change, you can actually always become a, a database architect or a database specialist who is uh, you know who understands like the you know like all the databases, like pros and cons of each of these databases, and you know where should I use NoSQL, where should I use RDBMS, and you know if you you know, have some idea about like in-memory databases, exadata, all these things actually, if you have like a high level, uh, you know, database knowledge uh, on a variety of databases and you're good at communication, if you're good at selling, then you can obviously become a database architect. Uh, apart from that, uh, you know, you can also, uh, if you're good at, uh, you know migration and things like that you can become a database migration specialist uh, in aws uh, there are like people who are dedicated for migrating databases uh, that is customers who are coming to aws uh, you know they want to migrate their database to cloud and you know they they might want to move away from oracle to uh, let's say aurora um, you know, or they want to just bring their Oracle database to cloud. For each of these cases, actually, uh, there are di database migration specialists uh, working on these migration tasks. Apart from that, uh, you will definitely be able to find positions in, like, let's say, uh, AWS or Azure backup teams, performance tuning teams, and DevOps teams. And most of these roles involve a lot of automation, like they require like uh, Python automation because Python is uh, replacing shell scripting. So, so definitely there's like a lot of opportunities in these kinds of teams for DBAs in the future. And if you are, uh, like let's say if you cannot find a job in one of these top cloud service providers, then let's say you're working for a company which is just consuming or which is just using AWS or Azure, then you will more likely become like a site reliability engineer slash DBA, uh, where you will become like a, an application, you know, you will become like an application DBA uh, and also you'll be able to bring your database, like tuning expertise, monitoring support expertise, to that position, right? So that's how the, the jobs are gonna transform. Um, at least that's what I think. 
and obviously I, I see a lot of people becoming data engineers like a lot of DBAs they're becoming data engineers uh, like just just totally becoming like a, a ETL guy and and I see some people moving to NoSQL slash big data slash Hadoop uh, administration roles uh, so if you're interested in that kind of like sys administration heavy roles uh, you can start preparing for those things and yeah and also database security is is a big deal there are teams in in most of these companies dedicated for uh, dedicated for enhancing the security of whichever company it is right so so database security is a big deal if you understand uh, oracle wallet and you know or any equivalent security features in other databases those are a big plus actually and so having said that like these are some of the certifications i recommend i uh, first of all like automation is is going to be a big deal uh, meaning like uh, no matter which team you are uh, you will have to automate something um, so so first of all like learn python uh, if you are working in some place like find ways to use python uh, in your current job so that's my first recommendation the second one is uh, of course, we need to understand cloud. So you want to do some cloud certifications. So if you do like, let's say AWS solution architect certification, associate certification, then I think that's enough to understand sort of like overall, uh, like, you know, it's, it's enough to gain the overall understanding of cloud and you will be able to translate that uh, for, you'll be able to translate that into like any other cloud, uh, you know, any other cloud, basically like a GCP or Azure, it's all the same cloud concepts uh, that are being used everywhere. And uh, yeah, and apart from that, like if you could learn uh, some DevOps uh, related technologies, like, you know, uh, Jenkins and Git and Puppet, Ansible, Kubernetes, Docker, all these things are like if you you don't have to be like a like a you know in-depth expert in in these technologies but you sh if you know all these things then it might help you in the future like you know you if you end up uh, doing some automation then you need to of course check in your code and like you know just monitor the CI/CD pipelines uh, in your company and things like that. So it's definitely worth understanding all the DevOps technologies. Yeah, apart from that, there is uh, now AWS uh, database specialty certification, uh, which gives you a good idea of all, uh, you know, AWS native databases like Aurora, Redshift, DynamoDB and things like that. So if you could do one of those certifications and again, like that will give you like a sort of like a basic understanding of all these different types of databases that, uh, you know, that is a very useful certification. And apart from that, like if you're interested in NoSQL, Hadoop, MongoDB uh, or big data domain, like you can do certifications in, uh, in, in those areas. So these are sort of like different uh, certifications that you can do to prepare for the future uh, you know don't worry if you're lagging and if you're like panicking looking at all the certifications people are uh, posting in LinkedIn just uh, you know don't worry about it so you know no company is going to just uh, change overnight like it takes years to actually migrate out of Oracle and even Oracle is actually doing a very good job with their cloud uh, they are moving fast actually uh, recently they've been able to sign a, a contract with zoom if I'm not wrong zoom the video conferencing company so so yeah so they are also uh, I guess like they're fighting back don't be surprised actually if you end up working in one of the Oracle teams uh, doing like you know the same job but like you know automation in Python and things like that 
so yeah so that's what i want to say um you know so don't don't worry about anything you'll be fine and uh, i'm also preparing for aws certifications and i'll keep you updated along the way uh, i've been able to pick up python and i'm actually sharing some python tutorial videos with you guys if you guys are interested in any specific uh, topic please comment below and if you don't ag if you agree or don't agree with my point of view uh, you know you can comment that as well i just wanted to uh, you know i wanted this to be my first vlog video and i'll see you guys again with more videos like this and you know please subscribe and like my uh, channel uh, and share it uh, on uh, on your social media channels actually Thank you.